uh, this question has been taken from Cambridge textbook uh, unit 3 and 4 a figure shows a circular lake of center O the radius of 2 kilometers so what they're saying is this is a circular pond or lake radius of 2 so the from year to year the radius is 2 centimeters sorry 2 kilometers okay a man swims across the lake from A to C so a man is going from A to C like this in a straight line at uh, 3 kilometers per hour and then walks along the edge of the lake that means then he's walking through the this edge uh, so this is the path and that is at the rate of 4 kilometers per hour so if angle BAC is theta radians on the total time in t hours and show that that is going to be this okay so uh, so yeah one thing that you can very clearly see so this is a right angle this is a right angle okay so okay let me draw the circle again so let's draw uh, okay so let's draw the circle so this is a circular pond and then this is so let me sh do a bit of geometry here yeah? okay so before so this is this is theta and we know this is going to be four kilometers because that's the diameter and this is the angle at the cent uh, this is the angle inscribed in the semicircle that's always going to be a right angle so using soka toa so this is a this is c and this is b so you can say cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse the hypotenuse is AB. So cos theta is adjacent, so which is AC over hypotenuse, which is 4. So, well, we can say AC is 4 cos theta. So the distance from A to C is 4 cos theta. So here T is the total time, so we can say, well, T is T1 plus T2, where T1 is the distance sorry the time taken to cover distance a to c and t2 is the time taken to cover the the length for the length of this r b c okay so this is what you're covering this is the first distance and this is the second distance so here you take t1 the time taken to cover from a to c is t1 and the time to cover from b to c is t2 so we know speed what is speed? Speed is distance over time. So we can say time is distance over speed. So there are two distances and two speeds. Okay, so we know, uh, so you can say D1, T1 is D1 or S1, where T1, I can say, well, T1 is D1, which is AC, or S1, which is the uh, the speed to cover the distance from A to C which is 3 okay so well we can say T1 is going to be what uh, AC is 4 cos theta divided by 3 okay so that's done okay it's a bit messy alright so now if th this is the center like I said this is the center so well we know if this is 9 if this is theta and this is uh, 90 this angle is going to be 90 minus theta so well we can say this angle is going to be 90 minus theta if that angle is 90 minus theta uh, this angle this angle uh, this is 90 minus theta so uh, what are okay okay before that so we can say well this is a radius this is radius and this is also radius so this is an a suppose this is o a o c is an isosceles triangle so if this is theta this angle is also going to be theta so well this angle this angle is going to be 180 minus 2 theta 180 minus 2 theta 
and these two angles are angles on a straight line so if this is 180 minus 2 theta this angle has to be 2 theta okay I hope it's making sense so this angle is 2 theta okay now you should know the formula or the arc arc length to find T2 okay so let me use a different color so can I say T2 is D2 divided by S2 okay now D2 is the length of arc BC length of arc BC divided by S2 which is 4 kilometers per hour so the length of any length of any arc if the angle uh, so this 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 length okay there's a formula which is radius times the angle made at the center so the angle made at the center is 2 theta and the radius is 2 so it's going to be 2 times 2 theta divided by 4 okay so that's going to be uh, 2 times 2 theta divided by 4 which is going to be 4 theta divided by 4 okay so this is going to be uh, 4 theta divided by 4 which is going to be which is going to be theta okay so we're almost there so I can say well T is equal to T1 plus T2 what is T1 we have already proved T1 is so we can say T is 4 over 3 cos theta plus theta okay so instead of saying theta can I say T is 4 over 3 cos theta plus 3 theta divided by 3 theta is same as 3 theta divided by 3 so you can take the one third out so if you take the one third out you're going to get 4 cos theta plus theta and that's what we had to prove and that's the question the total time taken is one third times 4 plus f 3 cos theta yeah I made a mistake here so this should be 3 so if you are taking one third out 4 cos theta plus plus 3 theta